hey guys, this is Fear and I want to talk about the PS5. Why? Because apparently, I'm not going to go into all the details with the source code and everything, but I was watching Sham Chong's video. And apparently, they basically seem to limit you to one console per user for the PS5. Now, for people who wanted to buy both the digital and the disc version, maybe to do a comparison video or whatnot, that means that you can only get one, apparently, on the same site. But here's the thing. Cham Chong was thinking that they're doing this for, obviously, because of what's going on in the world right now, but also to stop people from reselling for high prices. Because people do do that, especially at the beginning of the console. People will buy as many consoles as they can, wait till they're sold out, and resell them for high prices. People, I think, are still doing that with the Switch right now because the Switch has been sold out for a while. While I get this may frustrate some people, I think that it makes sense. What's going on right now probably is affecting manufacturing down in China. So they probably don't want people price gouging, one. And two, they don't want people who legitimately want a PS5 not to get it because they don't have as many consoles on the market. And of course, those of you guys who ha have multiple people living in the household who want to buy PS5s, you just use different accounts for that because if you have three brothers, then just three different accounts. I know sometimes families share accounts. I actually, on Amazon, because of Amazon Prime, we share an account with my brother-in-law, but hey, you just gotta bust out your own account if you don't have one already. If you and your sibling, or you and your father, or you and whoever in your family all want to have their own system. But in any case, it's just interesting that Sony has chosen to go this route. I don't think it's gonna really affect that many people, actually. But what do you guys think about Sony, seemingly based on the source code and everything, limiting pre-orders of the PS5 to just one console per person, whether you buy the disc or the digital. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the and subscribe. God bless you all.